happening right now. The search is on for the driver of this car. Tampa police say that person could be connected to a deadly hit and run crash. This happened about two o'clock this morning on East Columbus Drive. The victim ended up in the middle of the street and now police are trying to figure out exactly who did it. News Channel 8's Gabrielle Shirley joining us now live from Tampa Police Headquarters with this story. Gabrielle. Well, Rod, like you said, the driver is still out there, leaving people in that neighborhood with many unanswered questions. Roxanne Thompson has lived along this one-way, three-lane stretch of asphalt for 10 years. There's a lot of confusion probably from here to 40th Street because there's a lot of accidents. Accidents she thinks are caused by two issues. Unfortunately, it's dark. If you're not really paying attention to that one-way sign, you're liable to come has that light going the wrong way. Before 2 o'clock on Saturday morning, Tampa police believe a driver hit a 38-year-old man on East Columbus Drive, leaving him in the middle of the road. It was dark, but the driver had been traveling in the right direction. Who would hit somebody and just leave? Like, that's messed up. Thompson says she often sees police patrolling the area. A sergeant actually found the man breathing but unresponsive. I don't understand how people do stuff here because police right there. The investigator spotted the man's belongings nearby. He was either carrying or riding a skateboard. We did locate an indoor skate park down the road. Thompson is stunned. I can't believe it. It's unbelievable. I wouldn't. That's just that's bad. That man later died at a hospital, and again, the driver who hit that man is still out there. Rod? Gabrielle Shirley reporting live in Tampa for us tonight. Gabrielle, thanks.